look at my VMware workstation uh, miniature network that I've set up. First thing to do after you install VMware workstation is to study what's installed on your host machine. This is for my host machine. So here's my wireless LAN adapter. I'm going to share that with the Active Directory domain so it has an internet connection and it can also draw a DHCP assignment from my home uh, internet connection. And then there's a couple other things in here. There's a VMware network adapter, VMNet1 and VMNet8. Those are basically the VMNet1 is an internal um, and it's an internal router for your virtual network and then there's VMNet 8 which will let you use NAT to reach out to the internet through your host machine so this here's the default gateway the 192.168.0.1 and then I'll show you virtual network editor that comes with VMware Workstation and you can set up your connections here. I'm going to use a bridge connection on my 2K8 server and I've selected my 300 megabit wireless in adapter. For some reason it has a virtual box label attached to it because I installed that utility also and there's VMNet 1 so I'm going to use VMNet 0 for the bridge and VMNet 1 for the internal network to tie a, a Windows 7 domain client to Active Directory I've turned off DHCP on VMNet 1 so I can assign static addresses it makes Active Directory a little happier I'm not going I haven't played with VMNet 8 NAT as of yet. So here's my. Oh, let's see. Go in VM. Here's the two adapters. You can add adapters through this tool right here. So I put. I set up the first one. Make sure you don't get these two switched when you're playing with DHCP you're turning off DHCP so VMNet 0 is the bridged connection out, it grabs the DHCP address off of my home router and that's the internal network so let's look at some connections here There's properties for the internal network It has a static IP address that goes with what's set up here, the .75.0 network. So I've given it .20. There's no default gateway because I want to use the bridge connection to use, well, yeah, to reach out to the internet. And then I use the loopback address for DNS because it's a DNS server. And here's the bridge connection. I've turned off all the tools except IPv4 and this obtains its IP address from my home router. And we'll check connectivity will go. IP config. Okay. Here's your bridge connection. It's pulling in a, a DHCP IP ad address off my home adapter, and then here's the static IP for the other connector. So I'm going to ping that gateway that ping 192.168.0.1. I'll cut it out. Ping 192.168.0.1. OK. 
Okay. It gets a reply. We got connectivity. I can also ping uh, the Google DNS server if I could type 8.8.8.8 and it's getting a reply. So I've got internet connectivity on that interface. And then over here on the yeah, it's doing updates, of course. And I can pull up. I haven't set up the connection here. But I'm going to give it a static IP on the 75.0 network. really slow. Anyway, set up a static IPv4 address on the same network as your Active Directory machine and you should be able to have them ping each other. You should be able to join the domain if you have Active Directory installed correctly. And that's just a quick overview of building a home lab network